Matthew chapter 24. And going out, Yeshua went away from the set apart place, and his taught ones came near to point out to him the buildings of the set apart place. And Yeshua said to them, Do you not see all these? Truly, I say to you, not one stone shall be left here upon another at all, which shall not be thrown down. And as he sat on the Mount of Olives, the taught ones came to him separately, saying, Say to us, When shall this be, and what is the sign of your coming, and of the end of the age? And Yeshua answering said to them, Take heed that no one leads you astray. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the Messiah, and they shall lead many astray. And you shall begin to hear of fightings and reports of fightings. See that you are not troubled, for these have to take place, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and reign against reign, and there shall be scarcities of food, and deadly diseases, and earthquakes in places. And all these are the beginning of birth pains. Then they shall deliver you up to affliction and kill you, and you shall be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many shall stumble, and they shall deliver up one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise up and lead many astray. And because of the increase in lawlessness, the love of many shall become cold. But he who shall have endured to the end shall be saved. And this good news of the rain shall be proclaimed in all the world as a witness to all the nations, and then the end shall come. So when you see the abomination that lays waste, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, set up in the set-apart place, he who reads, let him understand. Then let those who are in Yehuda flee to the mountains. Let him who is on the housetop not come down to take whatever out of his house. And let him who is in the field not turn back to get his garments. And woe to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing children in those days. And pray that your fight does not take place in the winter or on the Sabbath. For then there shall be great distress, such as has not been seen as such as has not been since the beginning of the world until this time. No, nor ever shall be. And if those days were not shortened, no flesh would be saved, but for the sake of the chosen ones, those days shall be shortened. If anyone then says to you, Look, here is the Messiah, or there, do not believe. For false messiahs and false prophets shall rise, and they shall show great signs and wonders, so as to lead astray, if possible, even the chosen ones. See, I have forewarned you. So if they say to you, Look, he is in the desert, do not go out. Or look, he is in the inner rooms. Do not believe. For as the lightning comes from the east and shines to the west, so also shall the coming of the son of Adam be. For wherever the dead body is, there the vultures shall be gathered together. And immediately after the distress of those days, the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give its light. And the stars shall fall from the heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And then the sign of the son of Adam shall appear in the heaven, and then all the tribes of the earth shall mourn, and they shall see the son of Adam coming on the clouds of the heaven with power and much esteem. And he shall send his messengers with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his chosen ones from the four winds, from one end of the heavens to the other. And learn this parable from the fig tree. When its branch has already become tender and puts forth leaves, you know that the summer is near. So you also, when you see all these, know that he is near at the doors. Truly I say to you, this generation shall by no means pass away until all this takes place. The heaven and the earth shall pass away, but my words shall by no means pass away. But concerning that day and the hour, no one knows, not even the messengers of the heavens, but my Father only. And as the days of Noah, so so also shall be the coming of the Son. So also shall the coming of the Son of Adam be. For as they were in the days before the flood, eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And they did not know until the flood came and took them all away. 
So also shall the coming of the son of Adam be. Then two shall be in the field. The one is taken and the one is left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill. One is taken and one is left. Watch therefore, for you do not know what hour your master is coming. And know this, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. Because of this, be ready too, for the son of Adam is coming at an hour when you do not expect him. Who then is a trustworthy and wise servant whom his master set over his household to give them food in season? Blessed is that servant whom his master, having come, shall find so doing. Truly I say to you that he shall set him over all his possessions. But if that evil servant says in his heart, My master is delaying his coming, and begins to beat his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunkards, the master of that servant shall come on a day when he does not expect it, and at an hour he does not know, and shall cut him in two, and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. <laughs>